and like I say, it's a it's a big responsibility. It's very it's it's very expensive to, you know, have these things, and you know, like I said, they're gonna stay in your pocket one way or another. Even the <clears throat> the dealership, he's gonna stay in your pocket as well. So my thing is, how can you, um, how can you save money? Or do anything. How can you take a trip? I'm talking about a nice trip where you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, bills. You know, like I say, they're gonna stay in your pocket. They're gonna stay in your pocket, and by any means necessary, you know. And that's just like a house. It comes along with repair, repair, repair. Same thing. So. I feel like material things are just to uh, to keep us still, like Brother Land said, to paralyze us. They want to paralyze us. Where well, we can't move around, we can't travel, we can't do anything, and we're just depending on, you know, the job, just working paycheck to paycheck, and uh, just continue doing the same thing. It's kind of like you have to. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. And I'm talking about for real, for real. But anyway, it was this sister who was um, talking about uh, celebrities and how they are miserable and how it seemed like, you know, they're reaching out for help. And all I can think, I, I believe everything. I believe that. I believe it's true um, what this sister was saying, you know. They may have all the money in the world, as some people say, and they riches or whatever, but they're miserable, you know. They got to, you know, sell out and sell their souls and set up people and, you know. It's always somebody, you know, pushing the buttons for them to do this and do that, you know. And like I was saying, you know, fame and fortune, it ain't no joke. So I tell anybody I'm good, you know. Right the way I am, you know, having a roof over my head and having a, you know, a sound mind, body health and strength. And uh, like I say, I'm not because I'm not that type of person. I'm not going to, you know, sell out or sell my soul or sell, you know, uh, my soul to have somebody else sacrifice or whatever. No, mm mm. No, I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm fine. Just the way I am, you know. So money is is like the like they say. Money is the the love of money is the root of all evil, and I believe that. You know, people love money so that they'll 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 set you up. You know, set you up and get you out of here. And somebody pay them a little money, and that's sad. You know. So, but anyway, that's why it's good to know yourself, and. Uh, you know, don't worry about, you know, the riches of the world, you know. Know you can be what you want to be, who you want to be, and you don't have to, you know, sell out. If it, it either it's for you or it's not for you. So my thing is, I ain't going to say... Um, I feel sorry for anybody for us in that case. If you know what you're doing when you sign those papers, knowing that you're going to have to do this, do that to to um, make it big, you know what I'm saying, to be famous or whatever, then I don't feel sorry for someone like that, you know. I'm just looking at things different now, you know, and um, that's just the way it is. Because we supposed to, it's, a, it's supposed to be about love, you know. You're loving yourself. You're loving your your family, your friends, your loved ones. And you ain't if it, if it was true love, you're not gonna do anything to hurt anybody, you know. But uh, you know, we, like I said, we got the uh, the holidays coming up. Christmas, the next holiday coming up is Christmas. They just you know bypassed Thanksgiving. And I got to the point I do not celebrate man-made holidays. So, you know, um, I feel like this. We need to get our own holiday. 
We don't need nobody. Let's use, for instance, uh, the last holiday was uh, just past was Thanksgiving. You know, that's just like somebody telling you when you can eat a big meal, when you can uh, go buy turkey, ham, greens, and meet with your family on Thanksgiving. And then twist it around and say, well, okay, we're giving thanks, uh, quote, unquote, uh, to Jesus, as they say. And then to me, I think it's just a trick because they they getting them, the merchants is getting fat. They're getting the money back and telling you that. And people feel like, OK, it's, it's a Christian, uh, you know, religious thing. And so then all the family get together and feasting and everything and feasting and feasting and eating. But I mean, if you really think about it, you don't need nobody to tell you when you can eat turkey and dressing. If you go, if it's something you believe in. You, you're going to believe in it more than just one day out of a month or out of a year. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but my thing is, it's just like if you want to eat a big dinner, um, if you want some, at the time I was eating turkey and dressing and whatever I was eating in the meat, I'm just going to say meat, turkey, dressing, hams or whatever. You really think about it. You don't need anybody to tell you when you supposed to cook these certain items or dish. You can get what if what if it's like let's say Thanksgiving come in November. What if you want to sell uh, uh quote unquote if you celebrate, what if you want to celebrate and cook a big dinner in, in February and you want a Thanksgiving dinner in February or March or April? <laughs> Any month except for the how the month that they chose. So no I do not celebrate. Anymore, I have in the past, but I'm seeing things t totally different. And I don't need them to tell us when we can get with our family and show love. I mean, if you're gonna show love to your family, <clears throat> don't wait till a certain month to do it. You pick your own month. If you decided you want to eat turkey and dressing, you pick your own month to eat it. You don't have to eat it just on the day that they give have given. So. And the same thing about Christmas coming up. Like I say, all these are just man-made holidays, you know. The merchants is getting rich, you know. And people need to stop lying to their children. You get out there and you work and slave on these jobs and bust your butt. And then you're going to tell your kids. And I ain't going to lie, I'm, I'm guilty in the past. I did the same thing, you know. Tell your kids, you know, the 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 white man in the red suit, you know, bought them the toys, you know. You really think about it, it really don't make any sense. You know, now kids, they smart. You can't fool them. So you might well tell the truth and go and break this cycle. Stop lying to the children because they already know because they're going to ask you a question. Well, if, what do we, we don't have a chimney, so how do he get in? <laughs> these kids are so smart these days. I'm telling you, the generation of kids are so smart. <laughs> and so, yeah, you you busting your butt. And 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 you giving credit to the man in the red and white suit? No, uh, uh, it's time out for that, you know. But to each his own, you know. For you know, different people that you know inbox me on uh, uh, Facebook or any other site, and say you know, uh, send me little different Christmas songs or Christmas, saying Merry Christmas. Don't be offended. If I don't respond, it's just that, you know, like I say, I don't celebrate man-made holiday. Like I said, we need to make up our own holiday, you know? And like I say, and then plus, I found out you can save your money because you think about it, you don't spend all this money trying to get everybody in the family a gift, all your friends and this and that, and then you go... Then you almost go broke. <laughs> you can't get everybody no gift anyway, if you just think about it. I mean, I did this in the past. It's like, well, I didn't get so-and-so a gift. I didn't get... And then it's to make you all sad because, you know, they tell you it's a, it's a cheer. You're giving cheerfully and this and that and, and all this kind of stuff. So, but anyway, I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Now that third eye is open, you can't fool me. I mean, you know, 
I mean, I always knew, even when I was coming out of high school, I mean, I, even though I celebrated for a long time the holidays, but I knew, I'm like, you know what? Something ain't right about this, you know? And then you think about it, you make, you, you make all this money just to give it back because that's the way they get their money back. Because when you spend on, and spend all this money buying all these toys and gifts for your family members and friends and everybody, they getting their money right back. If you feel like you want to give somebody a gift, give it to them whenever you feel like giving it to them. Don't let somebody choose a holiday for you to go out and get broke. And them bills is due, house payment, car payment. You ain't going to be able to say, well, I was a cheerful giver and I decided to give on Christmas. And I gave, you know, so many friends and family members a gift. Now my bills are due. My light bill is due. Can you hold up on it? Can I get a discount? Can you wait till the next month? No. Them people going to turn your stuff off. They going to turn your light off. They going to turn your water off. They want their money. So I feel like this. If it's in your heart to give somebody a gift, you don't have to wait to one you know, a day out of a month, out of a year to spend all this, this money. You can give them, give a gift whenever you feel like you want to give, whenever your heart tell you to give it. Use your own mind, your own, you know, follow your own, as they say, heart, you know. And that's just like all the other holiday. Every holiday, that's, that, that's what they doing. They getting their money back. You working so hard, you can, we can't even take a trip out of the, the country or out of the, let's just say if you want to go another to another state. So, I mean, some people taking trips and that's good. But when the last time somebody actually took a trip out of the country, you know? But you're working, you're working, you're working, you're working. And then you're making your money and then you're giving it right back. And so my thing is to each his own, if someone chooses to continue to celebrate the holidays then that's on you i mean i done did it been there done that but i see things different now and i feel like if i want to give you know anybody a gift or whatever i do it on my time <laughs> you know not on their time because one way or another they're gonna they're gonna stay in your pocket and i'm not gonna continue to support these people for the for the all these uh man made holidays because you know and they benefiting out of it and just staying in your pocket so it's like I said it's just not my thing anymore and I don't care who don't understand it or who don't like it just keep doing what you do and I'm gonna keep doing what I I do because one thing about it we are different people we are made different we think different. And, you know, everybody have different opinions, different feelings about everything. So if that's what you continue to feel, then you continue to feel that. And I'm just, I'm just speaking the way I feel. So, you know, that way, if someone say, you know, you know, Merry Christmas, then don't get offended if I don't respond or don't comment back or whatever. I'm letting you know now, I don't want to be a part of the man-made holidays. And I'm going to try to save my money. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Because I ain't going to continue to keep robbing Paul to pay Peter. You know, or robbing Peter to pay Paul. However they said that saying is. Save your money so that way, you know, you might decide you may want to take a trip. And take you, you and your children on a trip. Save your money and do something like that. And if you decide you want to give, give your kids a gift, as they call it, gift, you give it on your own terms, you know. But in, like I say, everybody do what they please. But I'm not finna continue to spread the lies. <laughs> and I always used to think anyway, you know, it don't really make any sense. Why? Are, why are people giving all the credit and the, I'm gonna say all the credit, the the honor, and all the glory? To a man in a white suit. They ain't saying nothing about, quote unquote, you know, Jesus like they used to. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Santa. He's the one getting all the, the glory. But like I say, I'm not finna go off into all that. I'm just saying, I love each and every one of you, you know, my family, my friends. And uh, it is what it is. 
Y'all keep doing y'all, and I'm just letting you know the way I feel, you know. So I'm not mad at you guys, so if you get mad at me, oh, well. <laughs> I still love you anyway, my family. I know a lot of y'all are getting prepared for this holiday, so, you know, I love you, but I just don't want to take part in, you know, uh, giving my money back because someone made up a holiday for us to spend, spend, spend. So that way we can stay paralyzed and won't be able to save money to do the things that we really, really want to do. You, you, you're spending money, you're working, you're spending money, but then yet and still we're not elevating, we're not being able to travel, you're not in, you know, being able to do the things that you like to do with this hard-earned money that people make. And I know some people may have a little penny in a job, you know, not paying much, kind of like myself, but it, it, you know, it pays the bill, you know. And some people may have jobs where they make pretty, a uh, pretty good penny. But in what you do with it, that's on you. I'm just trying to save. <laughs> And, and and learning what I know now is like you're not saving when you're making money and you're giving extra things and you're buying extra things, all this name brand and everything. And don't get me wrong, I done had name brand, brand different things, name brand as well, you know. But I'm just looking at things a little different now, you know. So do as you please. But, uh, as for me, I'm good. One love.